So we're at the hospital now. Um, my sister is visiting my mom. Um, so what I was trying to say um, when we were still at home, my mom, not, not my mom, my sister's theory, okay? Um, her theory is that last, um, my last, um, what do you call it, um, my last days off, I probably had the Omicron virus from COVID, and that, because I pretty much slept those two days, and then I was back to normal, um, on Sunday, so I can finish off my week. Even though Sunday I actually felt like I shouldn't actually go to work. But, um, my mom made me go to work anyway. <laughs> um, but anyway, so her theory is, my sister's theory is that I had the Omicron virus from COVID and that, um, I probably passed COVID to my mom. That's her theory. My theory is, is because I only get sick once a year. So my theory is, is that what I had last, my last two days off is basically allergies. Um, that's what I'm thinking, but then again, um, from what they're saying, what the Omicron is, is basically a cold. Um, so, I, I don't know. So, from this, my sister, she already had COVID. She had COVID, um, uh, like two years ago. So, before she moved in with us, so, she already is immune to it, so, uh, um, so what we're going to do, and plus she took a COVID test, um, because of her procedure that I took, that, um, that, um, that she went about, like, a couple, last week, yeah, last week. Um, she had a procedure done, um, to see what she has, which we still don't have to give results for it yet. Um, but, um, she had to take a COVID test, and uh, she tested negative for it. So, what we're going to do after she visits mother, um, we're going, so after here, Right now we're at Baylor, um, and then we're going to go to the food stamps office for my sister because she got um, medical exempt for it, um, but she wants to make sure that she doesn't have to do anything on her end. So we're going to go to the food stamps office, and then she's, uh, and then we're going to drive to. Um, urgent care at JPS because she she's also done with something but she thinks it's bronchitis um, which she suffers for the um, every once a month or once a year and usually it happens in December and well it's January so um, but she's hoping it's just that and nothing more and then I'm going to take a COVID test. So, mom wants me to take a COVID test just to make sure that I'm in the clear. So, so yeah. Um, so we can see if I can actually take a COVID test today. Um, if not, then I can probably schedule for one. Because usually, I've heard that there are some places that are allowed, like, that are having free COVID tests, um, tests done, um, because of them being free and long wait periods and stuff, 
There are some locations that you now have to do by appointments um, to get a COVID test. So, is it, I think it's COVID test or a COVID vaccine. Hmm. Or maybe both. I don't know. But I'm just doing a COVID test, though. Making sure that I don't have anything. Um... Because right now I'm just dealing with allergies, which is odd for me to have allergies in January when it's supposed to be done in December. So I don't know. I don't know. Um. But anyway, so yeah, <laughs> this is my view. I'm at the very, very top of the uh, parking lot. Or a parking garage. I like to be in the very, very top. If that elevator wasn't there, you could see downtown. And there's a Ferris wheel. Huh. Hold on. Hmm. I like I like being at the very, very top. Okay. So, here's the hospital that my mom's in right now. She likes Baylor than anything else. <laughs> okay, so there's JPS all the way over there. And then right there, those right there are the historical silos. I think those are silos. Um, and there's the church right next to it. downtown but over here I'm curious what they have so let me see okay so if I zoom in a little bit so there's the let me see right there is uh, I think it's the arena Dickie's arena. And you got Park Plaza right there. And then it looks like a Ferris wheel. Huh. So do they have like a fair going? Huh. I have no idea. I think I see a water burger all the way to over there. Hmm. Let me zoom in and see if I can actually find it. You can barely see it. But yeah, it is all the way over there. You can never mistake a water burger's um, color scheme, you know? The orange and white. Right, digging, building. Hmm. It's beautiful out here. And then over here, I'm just walking around. <laughs> Let's see.
or CVS. Uh, yeah, there's CVS, and then the building right next to it is Chipotle. Chipotle's really small. And then all of those buildings over there is Cook's Children's. I wonder what they're building over there, though. Huh. Another part of Cook's Children's? Um, and then... Well, you get to see downtown. That's cool. That's a cool building right there. It's a new building too. What's well, so that CVS? CVS is new. Some historical houses. Looks like when my sister's done. So, on to the next stuff. I'm tired already. I shouldn't be tired. I mean, let's see. I've been going to bed really early lately. Early for me is around like 9 and 10. Because usually I stay up all like till 12 in the morning. And besides, seeing that today is my day off, I slept in all the way till like almost 11 o'clock this morning. So, I shouldn't be tired, but I am. Oh well. Okay. Next stop. And the next stop is... Well, I don't know what the next stop is. Oh, maybe I can get another thing. I need another thing to be jiggy. So I can do dash cams. Okay, time to get my sister. <laughs> 